Mechanism of Halogenation Start the mechanism with writing the overall reaction. For example, methane reacts with chlorine in the presence of light or heat to produce chloromethane and side product HCl. One chlorine atom replaces one hydrogen atom in methane to produce chloromethane and side product HCl. The mechanism contains three steps which are initiation step, propagation step and termination step. In the initiation step, light or heat provides the energy needed for homolytic cleavage. Homolytic cleavage in the diatomic molecule of Cl or Br. Highly reactive radicals are created. There is only one step in initiation step which is homolytic cleavage. The bond between Cl atoms this one bond between Cl atom, one bond consists of two electrons. This bond breaks symmetrically to form Cl free radical. So here, one electron moves to the Cl on the left and another electron moves to the Cl or transferred to the Cl on the right. Means each electron receives one electron. Each Cl will receive one electron. This homolytic cleavage can only happen in the presence of heat or light to produce chlorine free radical, two of them, two chlorine free radicals. Next step is propagation step. One radical generates another. So from the previous step, the products are two chlorine free radicals. So this chlorine free radical, this chlorine free radical, we refer to the overall reaction. Overall reaction, the reactants are chlorine and CH4. Free radicals are very reactive. So this free radical will attack either these two reactant free radical cl will not attack itself it will attack the methane here so in the propagation step the cl free radical will attack the hydrogen in methane it will form bond with the hydrogen from the methane so start with the chlorine free radical very reactive it will attack or it will form bond with the hydrogen so one electron transferred to here near the hydrogen and this hydrogen electron is shared with the carbon in the methane so two electrons shared together hydrogen and carbon so one electron from this bond will be transferred to here to form one bond. So one electron from Cl, one electron from hydrogen. That electron is from the bond. So when the electron from this bond is taken to form bond with Cl, one more electron here will transfer back to the carbon. Okay, half-headed arrow showing that one electron movement only. So this bond break, one electron form bond with the Cl, one more electron transferred back to the carbon in the methane. And then when this carbon has one unpaired electron, it becomes the methane free radical. So here, methane free radical, the Cl use this electron and then form bond with the electron of the hydrogen. So this one single bond is formed, HCl and free radical. The next step, this free radical CH3, 
free radical CH3, you refer to the overall reaction again. Free radical CH3 it is very reactive, but it will not attack itself. It will attack the reactant other than itself, which is Cl2. So this free radical CH3 will attack the Cl2. This electron will form bond with Cl, one of the Cl. But now, this Cl is bonding with another Cl. So this bond will be broken. One electron from here is used to form bond with this electron free radical and then one more electron from the single bond will be transferred back to the chlorine and the chlorine becomes chlorine free radical again Cl bond with a C chloromethane is the product and chlorine free radical this chlorine free radical now can cause the repetition of this step one in propagation step it will repeat again this chlorine will attack the methane again and then these two steps will be repeated until all ch4 and all cl2 until all ch4 and all ch2 becomes free radical when all become free radicals, okay, when all CH4 and Cl become free radical, next step is termination step. This is a side reaction. Two radicals combine, no new radicals generated. Chain reaction was slow or stop. So free radicals combine with free radicals. We know that each free radicals has one pair one unpaired electron this unpaired electron combined with another unpaired electron to form one bond so this bond c single bond c okay and then free radical form bond with free radical cl free radical ch3 it will become ch3 cl and then cl free radical form bond with cl free radical to become cl2 that is the final step of mechanism of halogenation in alkene. Major product in bromination. Results from cleavage of the weakest CH bond forms most stable radical. So, the weakest CH bond, CH bond, this hydrogen has attached, must be attached to carbon at the highest class means tertiary carbon has the weakest CH bond okay so this example of hydrogen attached to the tertiary carbon weakest CH bond if this hydrogen is removed okay or this hydrogen is replaced with Br atom in the halogenation of alkene the product will be alkyl halide here product will be alkyl halide and the most stable radical will form if H is removed this carbon is the most stable radical because it has three alkyl group attached to this carbon remember that the alkyl group is electron donating group when this carbon becomes free radical this carbon only has one unpaired electron not octet so that's why if it is attached to three alkyl group it is most stable so this is the major product this br the br atom will replace hydrogen at the highest carbon class it will not replace the hydrogen here because hydrogen here attached to the primary carbon less stable hydrogen here attached to the secondary carbon less stable the hydrogen here attached to the tertiary carbon most stable radical so that's why major product is 3-bromo-3-ethylpentane 
this is the major product the most stable plus HBR is the side product and when this is the major product let's look at the minor product the minor product if you replace bromine atom at the hydrogen at the secondary carbon hydrogen attached to secondary carbon minor product hydrogen attached to the primary carbon bromine replace this hydrogen this is also the minor product so we have three different products of halogenation so when the question asks to draw the major product make sure you label the major product if the question asks to draw all products make sure to label major and minor products and draw all possibilities of the minor products